What are you doing? What's the point in reading, Amelia? Well, Fia, let's head over to this next feature about reading benefits in teachers' favorite books. Tip point, The Room of Jury by John Grisham. The Selection series. Charlotte's Web. It's my all time favorite book. Harry Potter series. Hobbit. places that maybe not, you might not be able to get there otherwise. You get lost in the books that I read and feel like I'm part of whatever story is happening. Even for entertainment, I like nonfiction. Because it's kind of an escape from reality for me. You can dive into the book and live in that world. Like a really good book, you really get into the book and you feel like you're a part of the characters. And... It's kind of where I wind down or just relaxing. Eric Greetens is an American politician, author, humanitarian, former Navy, Navy SEAL, and the Republican nominee for governor of Missouri. He is on the issues of corporation power, crime punishment, and drug abuse. He believes that government spending must be cut to help the general welfare of Missouri people. Chris Coster is an American politician from the U.S. State of Missouri and current Attorney General of Missouri. He is on the issues of abortion, limited government, and civil rights laws. He promises to deliver justice to the hard-working families that he represents in Missouri. Roy Blunt is a junior United States Senator since 2011 and is running for State Senator. He is a Republican who is on the issues of gun control, affordable health care, and marriage rights. He wants to help the common people get jobs and doesn't stand for legalized marijuana. Jason Kander is a military veteran, lawyer, and a politician who is currently in a position of Missouri Secretary of State since 2013. He is a Democrat who is on the issues of foreign policy, gun rights, and stands firm on education in our state and supports Obamacare and abortion rights in the state of Missouri. Fia, are you ready for basketball season this year? Yeah, let's shoot it on over to Kate and learn about 8th grade basketball. Basketball's coming up. Here's all you need to know.
congratulations to the volleyball team this year. Here are some highlights of the Battle of Power game and the recap of the season. favorite candy to get while trick-or-treating? M&M's. What's the candy you hate the most while getting while trick-or-treating? Three Musketeers. What's your favorite memory on Halloween? When my dad dressed up as Wendy and the neighbor thought he was Hannah Montana. What is your favorite candy getting while trick-or-treating? Uh, Twix. What is the candy you hate the most while trick-or-treating? Reese's Pieces. What's your favorite memory about Halloween? Getting chased by dogs. What is your favorite candy getting while trick-or-treating? My favorite candy is Kit Kats. What's the candy you hate getting the most while trick-or-treating? Anything with nuts. <laughs> Just not. What's your favorite memory of Halloween? Uh, probably to spending quality time with Halea. <laughs> What was your favorite candy getting as a kid? I liked those weird little uh, caramel things with peanut butter in the middle that were wrapped in like the black and orange paper and nobody no. else, yeah, nobody else oh. liked those. I was the only one that liked them. So I would trade all like the chocolate. I don't really like chocolate. So I'd trade all my chocolate and people would give me those. Those were my favorite. And I liked anything with peanut butter. And except that. <laughs> what was the candy you hated the most to get? I don't like chocolate, so I would not, I would give away like my candy bars or Snickers or whatever, I don't really like chocolate. And I would say what she described <laughs> as her favorite or those uh, bit o honeys. Oh, I like those. Oh. Or the wax lips, I always gave those to Yeah. Brooks. What was your favorite memory as a child on Halloween? Mine was... My mom would make my costumes, and I won two competitions with them. 
I was an elf and a jack-in-the-box. Um, I guess my favorite memory was we, my family lived way out in the country in the middle of nowhere, so we, sell, we didn't always get to trick-or-treat. And if we did, we only went a few places. And then one Halloween, I got to stay with my grandma, who lived in town, and I got to do like real trick or treating door to door in a neighborhood with other kids. So the year that my grandma took me was probably my favorite Halloween. Amelia, what are you doing? Writing an email. That's not how you write an email. Well, how am I supposed to learn? Can you believe Jimmy Fallon stopped by to teach us proper email etiquette? Dear parents, comma, I hope this letter finds you doing well, exclamation point. Please see the below screenshot of my grades, period. I'm very happy to report that I am doing well in most of my classes, period. I have a test in ELA and hope that I can bring up my C, period. I will continue to turn in all my assignments this week, exclamation point. Your son, comma, Jimmy. What are some bad emails you've seen? We have students who have been sending some unprofessional emails to teachers. One thing that we notice is emails lacking punctuation, correct grammar. We, um, as a staff, have started to send an automatic reply back to those emails, asking you to resend with correct grammar, punctuation, and in a professional manner. So most of them are just lacking um, standard language mechanics, um, but some of them come across kind of rude in the way that they are stated. Very short, kind of just not polite emails. So how do you want to see an email written? We would like students to address teachers in a professional manner uh, if you're absent, especially such as, dear teachers, I am homesick today. I was wondering um, what I can do to make up the work missed. We don't wanna hear, did I miss anything? Because you always miss something in class. We want to hear, what can I do to, um, to work on what, is there anything I can do at home to get started on the work that I missed? Um, if you're going to be missed, uh, missing school and you know that in advance, if you let us know a day or two ahead, that's great. Um, we'll try to get you the work, but definitely keep those very professional when you communicate with your teachers. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Guess what? What? It's the end of the broadcast. Really? Yeah. See you next week, South Valley!